Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do a uh, an install of this NH-L9A on this Gigabyte motherboard. So let's go ahead and get so here is the heatsink and um, there's been some questions about how loud this is. Uh, once I get the case uh, set up I will unplug the uh, the case fans and just run it uh, with the uh, the slim profile fan. Um, I've heard some people complain about this but I'm guessing if you have a motherboard uh, where you can control fan speed a little bit that it may not be um, as bad. Uh, so it might depend on the motherboard. Uh, it does It is 4 pin PWM so you know it shouldn't perform that badly. Uh, it shouldn't be that loud because it's an Octua fan. Um, but if it is too loud we can always put you know a different fan on there at some point if I need to. Uh, you can get adapters to go, I think this is 92 millimeter. you can get adapters to go from this to like a 120 and set the 120 on there. So, not the end of the world. And then here's the mounting bracket. So it's a pretty hefty mounting bracket with um, some electrical, you know, so you won't short out your motherboard. And then we have uh, four screws. So to get started here, we have to remove uh, the stock uh, back plate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. It's just you just use take out these four screws, which I'm sure you're all super excited to watch me do live. But we're going to do that, get everything set up, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. So I have my uh, A6 chip here, and I've actually used uh, the Arctic Clean. Um, two part remover. Uh, the two is pretty much rubbing alcohol. Performs just like rubbing alcohol. So I don't know if you need part two. But part one, the thermal material remover, um, I'm extremely impressed. Uh, it's not cheap, of course. I mean, it's nine, ten bucks, but uh, it definitely dissolves the thermal compound on contact and makes it a lot easier to wipe off. So I'd recommend grabbing this if you guys, you know, Put a lot of heat sinks on and off it's probably worth the money uh, it was definitely a lot easier than using uh, the the 99 percent alcohol that i have so we're going to put this in our socket fm2 got the little triangle down at that corner just put it in no pressure needed and lock it down and then the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed here is that they didn't think of a little bit better uh, mounting system. So you actually have to put the uh, thermal compound uh, on the chip and then <laughs> sit it down on top of, flip the motherboard over basically. Um, and put it on top of the CPU cooler. So we're going to use the uh, the grain of rice or P method. Uh, remember, sometimes more is less with thermal compound. You want just enough to cover the heat spreader, and not so much that it'll go over the outsides. So I tend to try to use like a small P or you know a small grain of rice but in a in a you know a circular shape in the middle I found uh, I've had the best luck with that so far now one thing I am gonna think about here is when I put the board on this way which way is the top of the board because I want the cable to go the right direction so I want it this way because I want the cable to go Excuse me, I want it this way because I want the cable to go to the top of the board, which is going to be down. And then the only way I can figure out how to do this is I'm going to get my big fat noggin in your guys' way and try to line up the silly screw holes and hope to God that that puts me down right over the chip. And sure it did. So now we have the back plate. I'm just going to sit that down on top. 
and then uh, the screws they come with this they're pre-indexed so you just bottom them out and it should suck everything down perfectly I'm gonna be really gentle when I do this because I don't want to you want to use a cross pattern just like you would uh, you know, any of you guys that do auto stuff just like you would tighten the wheels on your car so I'm just getting them started here and then I'll come back and tighten it down so you know granted this uh, you know this chips not gonna get super duper hot it's just an a6 it's not an a10 or an a8 I'm not gonna like it is a K series so I might you know try to overclock the GPU portion of it a little bit just to see if I can get a little bit gra better graphics performance and I will be bringing you guys um, some crossfire videos or what they're calling dual graphics I guess with um, uh, another an add-in video card. The nice thing there is, you know, gigabyte and gigabyte. So at least it matches. Not that you're ever going to look at the inside of a, you know, put a windowed system on a case like this. But you know, you know I do appreciate the uh, the colored PCBs, you know, rather than green. Uh, I do kind of wish everybody would just use black or white though, because it would make, you know. Putting an ASUS board in a a system with a gigabyte, uh, you know, card is a lot easier. So there we have it. That's all you need to do. You just bottom the screws out all the way. They have little, uh, you know, mounting brackets so that they can't go in too far. And just to give you guys, you know, look at the difference in size between the stock fan and radi or and uh, heat sink and the new one. So, cooling should be a lot better. Uh, this thing is wicked loud, so whoever was complaining that that's loud, run this baby at full speed. Then complain that that's loud. So, um, however, you know, you can get boards or uh, CPU coolers that come up off a little bit and then hang over with 120s on them. Um, that, in this situation, would hit a support in the case I'm using. So... I'm using this, uh, and you know, it's not Dua, so it's not going to be, you know, I'm surprised, like, I, I'm guessing that somebody had a bad fan uh, that was complaining about the noise on these things, so, or something. So, one last look. So there's the side. There's the top. So, you can see it doesn't stand off very far. It's a slim profile fan, and a pretty thin, uh, you know, heat sink, but it does have, you know, two heat pipes that go to the outside and I, there are two small ones on the inside so it's four heat pipes uh, it might be two heat pipes that wrap around so that'll do it for this episode guys thanks for watching uh, we'll bring you some updated metrics from this board when I have some time but until then this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV, keep watching.